We're back. So many of you may have noticed uh, that uh, we we transitioned out. Of, we were talking about Josh Allen um, a little bit in his development, uh, going over um, whether the Bills are are playoff or possible Super Bowl contenders, right? So uh, you can find that video up there. It was uh, it was yeah. So uh, long story short, a lot of Bills fans are going to talk about Josh Allen year two, and they're going to want to compare him to Patrick Mahomes year two. I'm just saying it's a conversation that's going to happen, and Say a lot of word. a lot of people are Say already one saying word. It. what? Say one word. Listen, I've seen you throw that thing. It's not going to hurt. Um, <laughs> You're my only friend. Thanks, Ken. <laughs> If you like what you see so far, hit that bell for more. You don't talk like that. I don't. Time out! Oh. Um, reload. Alright, you ready to talk about this now? Prior to this? You know what? Patrick Mahomes year three is not going to be the same as Patrick Mahomes year two. And that's the point that I want to actually make. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, I agree with you. So a lot of people are going to arc what? Look up here again. There's an episode we did last year when everyone was hammering, hammering the Bills for trading away the 10th pick for the Chiefs 27th pick. The year they got Trey White mm -hmm. and then Chiefs end up drafting Patrick Mahomes. We got crucified. Yeah. Because everyone was saying, oh, we could have had Mahomes, we could have had Mahomes. And we did a video like that. We got torched for it. Yeah. But check it out. It's actually... <laughs> it's you want to see me get mad? It's you know? informative to go yes. back. You take a look at what the Bills got for Mahomes, and it's it's really hard to argue that you take Patrick Mahomes. Well, you got White and the resources to get Edmonds and Allen. That's what I mean. Three for one. Yeah, it's it's a really tough argument. And to Kansas make. City was built differently at that point. They really yeah. only needed a, a quarterback in that respect. Right. Yeah. It's... Now they need a defense. But continue. Well, that's what happens. <laughs> it's it's the free agent era, man. What are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. It's salary cap era. So what I want to talk about is the arc of Mahomes, right? Because everybody's saying Patrick Mahomes is only gonna get better. Patrick Mahomes had a season like no first year starter has ever had. He had an MVP season. Yeah. MVP season. Yes. Where? How do you get better? This is this is the arc. It doesn't get any better from here. Because look at what you're now replacing, right? You lose Kareem Hunt. You might lose Tyreek Hill. What are you replacing him with? It is Andy Reid, right? So you know he's going to be competitive. But I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing this being his career path in the next seven years. Like this is this 45 is forty-five to fifty touchdowns each year. That's what I mean. That's the numbers he put up were absolutely absurd. But there's important differences to call out between Mahomes and Allen. Differences. Well, major differences, right? They're both freak athletes. Right, that's that's just the fact. I thought you were gonna say their voice. Well, oh yeah, there's. <laughs> you know, there's sometimes when I'm in the in the pocket. <laughs> that's my home. You realize the things. If I were the OC, because the, you know the OC doesn't actually do anything in Kansas City. They got an offensive assistant, and that's the his enemy. Job. The enemy's a beast. Stop it. Whatever. Stop it. Whatever. You know, I would be going to read, and I would be trying to suggest different play calls because you know how they nickname plays yeah. like the shorthand plays I would be making as many Muppet references as I could in all of those just so that way you could hear Mahomes in the huddle <laughs> <laughs> check check Ernie he's Ernie like, he's a that, that voice is the best if I get that down I'm going to talk to you every day with that oh my god it's, it's so funny we're going to go twins right zoom 88 F flat <laughs> we talked about the comparisons of Allen to Mahomes prior in like previous episodes, like sprinkled in, saying right. with the stats comparable. No, no, the, the offenses are, are night and day. Yeah, they're not. They're, they're not going to be comparable. Yeah, they're not going to be comparable. Um, but the talents you said you wanted to focus on the talents. Yeah. So the, one of the major differences between Mahomes and Allen, right, is that when things break down with Allen, his eyes are downfield. Right? Yes. He misses a lot of that intermediate and short stuff that may open up because his eyes are downfield. And he has no problem just taking off and running and getting the play with his legs, right? Mm -hmm. But the play has to be in front of him for him to see it. 
Mahomes is a bit more creative, right? His body control is a lot different. Mahomes plays the position like a shortstop plays. He can make throws from very funky angles, right? Mm -hmm. And he's got the arm strength to be able to get, get the throws off quick. He doesn't have to wind up. He's got a very quick release. He's got a very strong arm. So he can get throws off that a lot of quarterbacks in the league can't get in. We came from Tech, right? Uh, yeah. So it's spread. Mm -hmm. Allen came from Wyoming. Gross mm, Wyoming. Yeah. Wyoming. Wyoming. <laughs> I only mention that because it, <clears throat> there were probably a lot of times where I almost sounded like Mahomes for a second. <laughs> there were times when I played him in Tech. Uh, there were times when he was at Tech and maybe he was just, because he had that spread and he was probably trying to be a little creative and a lot of those things kind of filtered into. Right. I mean, he went from, he went from a spread to West Coast. But there's a, lot of hard. there's a lot of natural athleticism in Mahomes. That again, you just, that just, that a lot of quarterbacks in the NFL who are all great athletes. I'm never going to say that a starter quarterback in the NFL is not a great athlete because they all are great athletes. They're all starter quarterbacks. Except for one. Yeah. Okay, right, go except ahead. for one. But. Ryan um, better. <laughs> <laughs> um, the throws that Mahomes can feed in are impressive. Yes. Right? So, um, he could get a throw, he could get a throw off in a phone booth. And throw, and throw a 20 yards downfield on target, right? Like, he's, just, he's he, Do you think it's the weapons that he had? Or are you just talking about his ability alone? I'm just talking about okay, his okay, ability okay. alone. That's fine. Um, but with that being said, one, you're right. He went from spread to West Coast. He had got a year to absorb that, uh -huh. right? He got a year to work on that before he was thrown into starting. Allen didn't make it a half of a football game before he was starting quarterback. Right? Yeah. And he even said playing and then getting hurt and coming back was great for him. He, he's on the record as saying that was a great time for him because he got he got a taste. He got taken out, not because of play level. And he yeah. got to learn. Yeah. And he got to absorb. Yeah. Right? And he yeah. came back and it was different. Mm -hmm. Right? Mahomes got that taste throughout preseason. Got a little taste of what it was like in preseason. Right? And then had, had to learn after that. And I think that's fine. Right, but Mahomes the, isn't going to exceed the what he did this season. This is not no. his career arc. If my, anything, he's going to regress. A little my bit. question to you is this: because we used to talk about Cutler, mm -hmm. he had he had a ridiculous arm. Oh, absolutely. He could throw it from dumb angles. Yeah. Actually, no, I won't even do Cutler. I'll do Stafford because that's a better comparison. Okay. Is Mahomes comparable to Stafford? Because he could he he's got a rocket arm and he throws it from weird angles. Yeah. He just doesn't he just doesn't have the talent. Aside from Calvin Johnson, he because that was his only weapon for many years. Mm -hmm. Do you think that those two guys are comparable with each other? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Stafford, could you put if you took if you cherry pick Stafford off of Detroit and put him in Kansas City instead of Alex Smith? Take Stafford at that age and, and replace him with Alex Smith, mm -hmm. or replace. Alex Smith Mahomes is isn't who he is because I know how cerebral Alex Smith is. Mm -hmm. And that year that Mahomes was sitting behind Smith, I'm sure he learned a lot. Absolutely. Uh, just being in the room. Like, you don't have yeah. to be a mentor. It's a rule. Like, people will say, it's a, you don't have to mentor the guy behind you that's supposed to, that wants to take your job. You don't have to do that. No. But just sitting in that room, seeing what he sees, Yeah. Uh, I'm sure Reed worked with, with him quite a bit. And, and, and Smith saw the writing on the wall. He's oh, like, absolutely. listen, that's, I know I'm, playing, I'm on borrowed time. Yeah, I'm going to do what to I need to do. That's why the first four seasons, or the first four games of the season when they drafted Mahomes, Smith was throwing for like 350 a game. He had I don't to. care. He had to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he had to. Uh, that being said, I, I don't know. He, and I could be wrong. If people were to tell me I'm insane, which is fine. It's, it happens a lot. You say it to me all the time. Mm -hmm. I it's think he's. Actually. I think he's comparable to Stafford. In you know, is Mahomes faster? Yes. Is he yeah. more athletic? Yes. Yeah. But you're talking about a guy who could throw it to anywhere on the field, and all these weird angles that he has to throw it from. And um, the difference is where Stafford lacks in the athleticism department in comparison to Mahomes. Stafford has. He's been in the league longer. Well, I think he, that's what. He could do things oh, on his sure. own. sure, absolutely. Stafford could keep himself a little bit more upright than Mahomes can, but I think that's part of the draw to Mahomes is, is his athleticism being able to keep things alive, even when they break down. Now, when Mahomes learns how to keep himself upright, that's when he becomes a really dangerous weapon, and he doesn't know how to do that yet. No. So I think teams are going to understand how to attack him a little bit better this year than last year. You could replace but, that name with Allen, too. He's got to keep himself upright. Stop right, jumping over people. Right. So I think that's... 
again, when you start talking about Alex and Holmes, once they're both, they both started one season. That that is even right. They're both entering their second year starting in the NFL. Mahomes had an extra year of pure development. Allen did not. Right, the whole his Mahomes whole rookie season was about making him the starting quarterback, grooming him to be the starting quarterback behind the scenes. Allen didn't have that. Right, yep. you also had an offense that was already put together in yep. Kansas City, in Buffalo. You don't have that yet. No. You don't even know who your starting three wide receivers are at this point because it's an open competition. You don't even know what your starting line is. And again, none of this was a problem in Kansas City. If, this was already decided. Yeah. If it's interesting to see the dynamic because we talked about it on the schedule episode. If the Bills are four and three when they play the Browns, who are four and three, the Browns will be in shambles. The Bills will still be yeah. in good shape. Right. If if you look at 2019 stats projected. Let's just say we project this. Yeah. If a- if Allen and Mahomes both have 32 passing touchdowns, mm-hmm. one's going to be a what? Yeah, the other one's going to be, are what you? A, what a disappointment. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mahomes has lost it. He's sophomore yeah. slump. Absolutely. 32 touch. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, absolutely. But but so you, that's but that's where people's expectations are. If Mahomes throws for anything under 40 touchdowns, people are going to think the building's on fire. Which, this led me to this question. The building is on fire. Year two, who's more... Who has more mental pressure? Year two starting, you mean? Year, year two, two starting. Yeah, year yeah, okay. two. So no, I'm going into oh, sorry, going going into 2019. Okay. Allen versus Mahomes. Who do you think it's going to be more mentally taxing on? Allen or Mahomes? Because Allen doesn't. I mean, has high expectations, but didn't set the bar anymore. Mm-hmm. Mahomes set 50, 5,000 yards. Mm-hmm. Do you think he's going to have more pressure? Do you think he's going to try to throw for 300 each week? And Allen's like, I just got to execute the game plan. I think, Which one do you think has more mental pressure? I, I think know. that's a fair question. That is um, interesting. I don't know. I, it's like I'll throw that. I'll throw that to the comments section. Um, I think I, to me, um, if if I'm looking at Allen versus Mahomes, uh, the Bills have minimal expectations across the board. I know he has high expectations for himself. Oh yeah, right? absolutely. But you know, when you start looking at the media pressure, if, if Josh Allen. Those for 32 touchdowns, he's still not going to make Sports Center coverage. Well, like, know. it's still not going to be covered by ESPN. It's not, the Bills aren't going to have any primetime games. It's just the spotlight is a bit, it's a very, it's a much smaller spotlight on Allen than it is on Mahomes. And that's, and, and the pressure that comes with being in that bigger spotlight is insurmountable. It's impossible to be able to tell and explain to somebody what that pressure feels like. Mahomes, oh, let me put it to you this way. If through the first six season, first six games of the season, if Mahomes has anything under twelve touchdowns, people are going to say that Kansas City is in huge trouble because they well, haven't reinvented losing. their defense. Especially if they're losing. And even if they're winning, people are going to say, "Well, they're winning games." If they're five but, and one and he's got twelve touchdowns, yeah, it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. I'm telling you. It's, well, I mean, it's, it's that really. will make ESPN coverage. If the Bills are five and one and Josh Allen has twenty touchdowns, I can't even tell you that the ESPN will care. Well, I think one of the things that Mahomes will have working in his favor is that he's not playing in L.A., Chicago, or New York. Right. Playing in Kansas City. Yeah. At least locally, he won't get hammered too much. Yeah, but they're, but they're Super Bowl favorites again. You know, like you look at it, and who are the three, the four favorite teams to go to the Super Bowl? Cleveland, the Chiefs, the Patriots, and the Rams. Those are your four favorites. the Saints? Saints aren't up there? No. Uh, Browns have skyrocketed above everything. Which just is in hype, but so this is hype train running. But this is the this is the thing that you talked about almost a year ago during one of the post games, and I thought it was so poignant. Allen for his career will be compared to Mahomes, not Baker, Rosen, or Darnold. Right. Yeah. It'll Which is interesting since two of them are now in the division. He yeah. won't be compared to them. Yeah, it's fascinating. It's really it fascinating. It is. It is but, fascinating. Um, you know, people want to talk about, you know, is Josh Allen going to be Patrick Mahomes? No, because this offense isn't like we've added a lot of passing weapons, but there's no proof right now that this offense is going to be anywhere near the volume of scoring that Andy Reid. I think on. the question is, you got to you got to switch it around. Last year, if, if the roles were reversed, does Josh Allen throw 50 touchdowns in that offense? I can't say that he would. No. But I think one of the major differences between KC uh, and Mahomes throwing so many is that's how they had to score because they weren't running the football. Because their defense was 28th. Right. Well, I mean, 
you gotta you gotta score to win, right? But they they didn't have Kareem Hunt. They kind of forced through the year as best they could, right? Only Reed could have made that happen. Losing your starting running back and yeah, uh, I, I wanted. Think that, I think that's a, that's a good point to make. I wanted to see that Super Bowl in Kansas City, LA. That would have been so much more fun to watch. I, I think it's a fair point that put Mahomes on the Bills last year. I don't think anything's different. I don't think the Bills win more games with Mahomes and no. quarterback last year. It's with weird the because... the fire that you had. So that's where the comparison is for me. So, it's it's funny. We're making both opposite points. Mm-hmm. Allen doesn't throw 50 in Kansas City, no. yet Mahomes doesn't win any more games than Allen. And you, well, and again, Ma- Allen would be coming in as a rookie starting quarterback in an Andy Reid system, right? The last time that happened was Donovan McNabb. To go back and look at McNabb, that's how long ago Reid started a rookie quarterback. So, I mean, do the math, right? Like, it's, it's Mahomes had a whole year to learn that system. Yes. Because the system didn't change. He had a whole year to learn that system. Allen going in as a rookie wouldn't go 50 times. And they acquired more talent. Like, the talent around him, Kelsey, Hill, all those guys had a year under their belt. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's it's not a fair comparison. You can't put Josh Allen rookie season in a in you know in a Patrick Mahomes already had a year in that system. It's it's not comparable. But people are going to make the comparison. But again, if the Bills had Mahomes last season, it was such a disaster. I don't think the Bills win any more games than they won. I don't think it changes anything. I don't think it changes anything, in my opinion. I think I would have won more game. <laughs> Keep sipping your tea, Kermit. <laughs> <laughs>